here on the right side. The Castle of the Counts, it is called. It was built in the 12th century. In the same stones that you can see in the monastery, in the storehouse in the middle of the harbor, buildings all from that same 12th, 13th century. Stones that don't come from Flanders, they were uh, transported here by boat from the city close to France, around the Skeld River. So, House of the Count of Flanders, this was its function in the beginning, one of the palaces of that count. Uh, it later was changed into the Court of Law, which was quite known here in Flanders for the executions that were often done close by the bridge we passed. So the, the name, the old name of that bridge is the Bridge of Decapitation. Uh, in the 19th century, the court of law moved out and a factory moved in. And it was, of course, as you can imagine, a ruin after that industrial time. But they restored it. At the beginning of the 20th century, I already mentioned the World's Fair, 1913. They restored it for that occasion. They very thoroughly restored it. So the, the uh, castle looks more medieval right now than it did during the Middle Ages. They romanticized it. Uh, it is um, a museum right now. One of the things to go to and get you, you should do at least three things. You should do the castle, the painting, and the cathedral. 